I am Tori McThurn, and I live in Gulf Breeze, Florida. And uh, by trade, I am a general real estate appraiser, but I am currently a stay-at-home mom. I got implants when I was 24 years old. Uh, it was something that I had thought about for a while. Um, I had always, I have always been an active person. I was a pretty competitive gymnast for 11 years as a kid and uh, followed that through like competitive cheer and even cheered in college. I was always tumbling and working out and considered myself a pretty fit person. And uh, the one little, little doubt about my body was always about the appearance of my breast size, that there was always lacking, it was always small. And at 24, I had the means, uh, the financial means myself, I was making enough money to, to get breast implants. And I had had several friends that were, um, back in the day, it was St. Louis Rams cheerleaders. We were living in St. Louis at the time and they had all like gone through the process and whatnot. And I, they were all very happy and it was really something I wanted to do. Um, I talked about it with my family and uh, my stepmother was actually the one who said, you know, if you really want to do this, come, come here. They live in Miami and, and you need to go to the best guy. And uh, so I flew down there, talked with him. He was a family guy. He was a great surgeon, made me feel completely at ease. And this was the time when um, no one was doing or a lot of the, the, the doctors were not doing silicone anymore because the new silicone not come out. So everybody was going saline. So he assured me that it was a safer way to go and that he also had a daughter and a wife that both had them and that he would never do anything to me that he wouldn't do to them. And I just felt completely at ease. I, I loved the, the, the outcome uh, after my surgery. Um, I didn't go as large as uh, some of my other friends had gone. Um, I actually had a doctor who said he would go two sizes and I chose the smaller one. Um, I was just happy to have some shape. Um, to be able to fill out dresses. Um, you, d you definitely feel more confident, more attractive, even in athletic wear, uh, you, you feel more confident. Uh, it's just a better overall look. And I got a lot of compliments from my friends and um, every, everything was just um, on the positive. I started noticing symptoms after I had my third child. Um, I was very lucky or, or ignorant to the fact that if anything was really going on. I know now that I, I had some signs that I probably should have paid attention to, but I, um, you know, I got my implants, they were saline, they were under the muscle so that I could breastfeed and all and all that. And, but it was really, my third pregnancy was was harder, more stressful on the body. I didn't, bounce back after um, I had had uh, my youngest and about two years, I would say 18 months to two years after I had her, I knew that there was something wrong. It was a complete lack of energy. It was just not feeling good, um, struggling with like brain fog. You know, it, it's it's hard enough to to, to maintain the, the home and the, uh, the kids and, and, and work every day, but it, it just, it was too much of a continuous struggle. And I just knew something was wrong. I had a, I literally had a gut instinct and my gut was a big problem at that time. I just knew something was not right. And that is when um, I started talking to people and, and reaching out to doctors. I had spoken with a friend, um, who actually has celiac disease and was telling her, and, and that was kind of when like celiac was first coming out, the, the awareness of gluten intolerance and, and whatnot. And so I just generally just, my stomach just hurt all the time. I had bloating and I knew that I needed to go see a gastro doctor, that I needed to get in. And there was a familial history of gallbladder issues. And so even when talking with my mom, like my mother, my grandmother, my great mother, great grandmother, my cousin, all of them have had gallbladder issues. They've all had their gallbladder removed. So that was the time that I had decided I want to go see 
a gastroenterologist and I want to get tested for celiac and, and, and figure out what exactly is going on. And maybe if I do cut the gluten out of my, out of my diet, I, you know, everything will align and all the stars will align. So I go and meet with the gastroenterologist. They diagnose me with IBS. They run every test that they can. I, I did, um, an endoscopy, a colonoscopy, a HIDA scan, and an ultrasound. And I was so, I was like, this is gonna be it. We're gonna figure out what it is. And at the end of the session, it was like, there's nothing wrong with you. You have IBS, just take some acid medicine or and take some Miralax. Take Miralax every single day and all of your symptoms will go away. And it was the most defeating experience of my life. I discovered breast implant illness through a family friend of ours. I had, we were spending time with some friends and on a regular day, just was not feeling well. And I really just wanted to, to just go home, just go home to my safe space, kind of lay down, kind of reset and try to feel better. And I was talking uh, with my friend who is a nurse. And she said, have you ever considered that maybe some of your issues might be your breast implants? And it was just, it was something that like, I had never even thought of. And she has a daughter that had just had them removed and coincidentally has Hashimoto's and was night and day different. So I remember, you know, thinking about it, getting on the internet, like, Googling it and searching it. And I found a couple doctors that, you know, were talking about all these symptoms. And I did the test, you know, the YouTube test about like, if you have all these symptoms, it's probably breast implant illness. And I remember I cried. I was like, maybe, maybe this is it. And I talked with my husband about it and he, he was supportive. He was like, he really valued what um, my friend, the nurse had had to say and was like, yeah, let's, you know, let's look into this. And uh, that's when I started um, on the breast implant illness and the explant journey. My expectation for explant uh, was I shot too high. I really thought that post explant, it would be as night day different and that that was all that I needed to do. And as soon as I get got rid of the implants, that my life would dramatically change and everything would would be uh, as it needed to be. Um, it was about two weeks after explant when I was searching through Pinterest one night, sitting in front of the TV on the couch where I found a article about healing your gut at the cell level and it was something that sarah had written and posted and that is how i found sarah because i still had this residual where i i felt better but the the gut and the 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 tired all the time and also just the general feeling that there's still something wrong with me i know i did the, made the right decision but my body I knew my instinctively, my, my body had been just too beat up over the years that I was going to need some help. And that's when I filled out the neurotoxic questionnaire. And that's how I found Sarah. When I began with Sarah, I was thinking that it would just, you could heal my gut and everything would go away. Uh, what I was surprised, but what is just so comprehensive about what she has to offer is that she starts with just the basic ABCs of how you need to be living your life and increasing your toxic overload. I was completely ignorant to how much toxicity we are exposed to and how much we are taken in every day. And that is what I value most about what Sarah has to offer is because she's giving you the tools to live a better life. She's given you the tools to live a healthy, healthier life and, and, you know, that you can apply every day and, you know, and help with your family and your, you know, your friends and whatnot. But it was just overall wellness. I've learned so much about the liver. I've learned that the liver is very, very important. And we all need to be very, very kind to our liver. 
and the lymphatic drainage system. And uh, it, it's just been, um, I feel so more confident with the knowledge that I've learned. Uh, and, and I'm, for the first time in a very long time, I'm not afraid to get sick. I think that's what's great. I have such faith in my body. I have faith in my body that it will do the things it needs to do. And if I get a little rundown, I know that I will always, I will get better. Knowing what I know now, I would go back and tell my pre-implant self that you are enough, that you are beautiful just the way you are and that you do not need any kind of extra in your body uh, to make you complete. I have three daughters and I try to tell them all the time, it's not necessary. It's just something that we all go through the insecurities and you're beautiful just the way you are. To any of those women who are out there who are on the fence about getting your breast implants removed, I would say to them, keep keep looking into the the information. It is it's a very scary process. It is it's another surgery. It is taking something away from you that you thought sometimes completed your body that made you feel prettier and sexier or whatnot. But the long term ramifications that they can that they can cause is not worth it. It is something that if you ask, you will find support. You will find people like me. You will find people like Sarah. You will find a whole community of people and we will all give you grace. There will be no, no criticisms and we will, you know, we're more than welcome, more than happy to answer questions. We're here to help and don't be afraid to reach out. Explant surgery has been so positive for me because I feel like I'm living just a happier, healthier life. I have been able to go back and address old trauma, uh, heal relationships. And while you're healing your body, you're going to heal your mind. I have learned to accept grace. Grace is a wonderful thing to have in your life. Um, it, and just a positivity and a happiness that I didn't have on almost three years ago that I started this journey. It is so easy when you are sick and you are not feeling good to get into this endless cycle and just know that there's help out there. And as you heal, like things will get better. Things will get more positive and uh, you will be, you're much stronger than you think. You know, you're much stronger than you give yourself credit for. I'm confident of that. Since explant, I feel like I have, uh, there was a time when I was really, really sick where unfortunately it was during COVID too, when I was explanting and going through this whole process. And it, it almost gave you a sense that, you know, you didn't want to leave the house. You really wanted to be in your safe space. I had a really hard time with traveling. Um, it was really hard on my body too while I was going through my journey because I have three very active daughters and we were traveling every weekend for soccer, their schedules, school, and everything that goes with it. So since Explant, I feel like I can catch up. I feel like I can catch up and there's always a smile on my face. I enjoy, you know, getting up in the morning, being outside a lot more, just and and where my kids and my husband were always like my joy. I just feel less tense, less fearful, less intimidated by the day-to-day -day tasks that are just required of you in life. And that has been the most impactful thing and the, the, the biggest gift that um, Sarah's given me. I define beauty now as almost like an overall presence. I see so much of my old self in a lot of women who are constantly trying to, you know, fit this image, especially as we grow older and try to 
fit a box, you know, of, of what beautiful is. And for me, beautiful is just a presence. It's a kindness. And it's just an overall aura of, of just what, what, what beautiful is how you treat people, how you're living your life, how you give back, uh, you know, and how you, my, my biggest thing in life is, is living the word and being uh, present for people, being supportive of people. And for me, that is, that's beautiful. Not, not your perfect face, not your perfect body. You know, it, it, it's your overall presence. To me, being an explant thriver is a huge sense of accomplishment. Um, there were days that I didn't think I would, would get here and it's such an honor to to be here and to maybe influence and to hopefully support anybody out there that needs just a little extra push um, in this direction. Uh, I am proof that it, it, it was the best decision I ever made. It is nothing that you ever do is easy, it you know, but it is so rewarding and answers and help and support are on the way. They're there for you. You just have to reach out and grab them.